All right, what's going on, guys? It's Owen here. Uh, Infinite Dragon Ball History Stage 16 dropped today, and I'm going to be giving you a quick, comprehensive little team building guide in order for you to get the missions done as easily as possible. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you first. We're going to start off with the team building guide, so you know I don't have to time stamp and give you guys like make you sit and watch through all the gameplay. You can just get to what you want. Um, you know, get through all the easy stuff first, and if you'd like to stick around and listen to me babble on for 15 to 20 minutes while I play the game, and, you know, talk overall, like, you know, normally my normal style of videos, you could do that, or you could just watch me break down the categories on the wiki and try to give you a comprehensive little bit of team building. Uh, you know, so I'm going to hop over to the wiki real quick. We're going to go do that first. I'm going to change it up a little bit. And then if you are so inclined to stick around when we are done doing the breakdown and listen to the commentary that I do, I would appreciate that as well. So uh, let's go quickly, hop over to the wiki, and we can get started with the team building guide. Okay, so we are here on the wiki. Um, you know, it's, it's nothing that we haven't seen before with an infinite Dragon Ball history stage. You can always do two uh, runs separately. For um, for these missions, I prefer to try and maximize the uh, missions and get it done in one run. But I do understand that some categories are a little bit limited, and that can be difficult. So what you saw before we headed over here was the team that I did for a no-item run, which in Infinite Dragon Ball history doesn't really matter. But, you know, I digress. Clearing the stage within 20 turns... That's just really, it comes down to being efficient, having units that do a lot of damage, uh, you know, maybe attack up items, whatever it is that you got to do. Um, I forget how many turns that my first run took this morning when, you know, it dropped, but uh, obviously, you know, when we get through doing the team building here, you will see how we do look with, uh, you know, the new, uh, <laughs> with the, how many turns it takes when I do my normal run. So uh, let's go ahead and look at joined forces first. So... Units right off the bat that I would say are amazing for this are LR Kill and Khalifla, some of the best long event units that you can get in the game. Uh, these uh, Freeze in 17, they're okay. Uh, the Blue Boys, eh. <laughs> I mean, they don't raise defense or they don't stack defense, but they do get a defensive buff per the, all those attacks that they do uh, in the beginning or when they do after they do all their attacks. So they're a slot two, slot three unit, wherever you want to put them. Um, I do not have LR Yamcha and Puar, so I cannot give you a good evaluation on them. I would not bring any of these guys. Maybe uh, Frieza, or not Frieza, um, Curlin at 17, or 18. God, I'm all over the place. Um, so, obviously, LR Kalen Khalifa is good. So, basically, you know, without having to go, you can see, I mean, look, at, this is an LR team, right? Like, you can quickly look at this and see where you are, right? Like, obviously, if you have STR Vegito, you want to bring him. Or if you have Tech Gogeta, you want to bring him. Uh, the Go Bros. Uh, so, <coughs> excuse me. So, what we're looking at here, um, I'm sorry, I just got a little choked up. Um, you got to try and find the stacking units that you have in here. Uh, these guys are a good example. The AGL counterpart as well, they stack. I don't know how uh, these guys look in long events. I'd have to look at it. I know they raise attack and defense, so you could probably get away with them in the second slot, but at the same time, you also have to put leader skill into effect, right? So, what I personally would do is a Super Saiyan team slash uh, legendary existence team. So, what you're going to end up having is, um, let's see. So, I'm going to try and give you a comprehensive build that does... Uh, like what, how I want to do it, right? So this LR UI Goku, he fits on LR Int Namek Goku's leader skill. So you're getting the bond of friendship as well as, uh, yeah, so you're just getting bond of friendship. So you have one, uh, this is a, uh, what is he? Is he even, is he on bond? Of, he's got, he's got to be on bond of friendship, right? Why did I do it like this? <laughs> Sorry. Am I going crazy? Yeah, yeah, there, he, he's, it's just not updated on the wiki yet. Okay. Um, yeah, so he's on Bond of Friendship. I knew I was, I was about to say, like, am I going crazy here? <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, so anyway, as I was saying, I'm sorry. 
you want to run the legendary existence slash super saiyan team because then what you can do is get this guy in on the party these guys in on the party and these guys in on the party for your joined forces units right and you get that out of the way and then what you want to do is grab this guy this guy and then who else do we use we used uh, gt goku so he's on the bond of friendship category as well so if we go to physical you can see our boy right there so basically what you're trying to do is make a team full of gokus <laughs> or you know a leader skill where you have a goku <laughs> you can run three gokus and you can also run three joined forces unit at the same time so having this guy is absolutely you know, it's, it's great for getting this done right away. But what you can do, in theory, is run Kale and Khalifla as your, your leader. And then you could run, let's see. You could run the GT trio. I mean, really, if you just look here, any of the units, there's a lot of units here that have like joined forces right so here's a joined forces unit uh here's uh, we already looked at them uh there's a joined forces unit that's your leader right uh or no you would run uh <laughs> sorry you'd run them as your leader and then you'd run them uh you could run <laughs> i'm sorry i, I should have kind of scripted this out a little bit but like when you see it right here if you run kale and khalifa as the leader there's a bunch of joined forces units that are also in bond of friendship so one, I count one, two, three, four, uh, let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, I don't, is, are they on joint forces? I don't think they are. Yeah, they're not. I'm sorry. So, where we're at, we're at eight, uh, nine, if you don't have, uh, ten, uh, so ten. Is it just 10, 11, 12? <laughs> yeah, so there's like 12 different setups that you could do for that. Or you could just run a joint forces team and you, you know, you run, you'd obviously you have everything available here and you just do two separate runs. So it's really up to you how you want to do it, but I'm just kind of giving you a basis team idea. Like, so. I mean, what I told you, you're going to see my gameplay that I run, you know, the LR, Gogeta, and Vegeta rotation that just puts in work, but there's the physical and int counterpart to that. Uh, you're getting the joined forces, and you'd also be getting Super Saiyan, so it works just fine. Um, you just got to be careful with the Bond of Friendship category. Uh, I, it's, it's like, you know, it's a Goku category, essentially, with the U6 girls on it. And then also a couple of the hybrid Saiyans. So... That's going to conclude it, <clears throat> excuse me, conclude the little team building portion. You know, it's tough because these categories, as, you know, as big as this Bond of Friendship category is, it's very linear in what it's trying to get you to do. So you want to run Gokus, and then you want to run Joint Forces units as well. So Gokus, Goku and Vegeta units, and try and make it work for uh, both of the teams. That's what you should be aiming for. If you want to do a team building portion in five seconds... Goku's Goku and Vegeta's that's it figure out the leader skill and make it work that's kind of how I can give you the cliff notes of this right so that's going to wrap up the team building portion and if you are as I said if you want to stick around for the gameplay uh, I'm going to kind of transition over to there do they know how to run for this specific team build that I used if you can copy it by all means go ahead and you will be able to get this done very easily so I will see you over on Dokkan Okay, so we are back on Dokkan. You see we have the team that I wanted to run in this specific instance. Uh, no extreme class enemy here, so let's go ahead and try and get some raises across the board. I want to get my rotation set up with uh, Super Saiyan Gokus, as well as the uh, LR Vegito and LR Gogeta, so... The sooner I get that done, the better. I'll try and beat the 10-minute uh, time that my friend had on the list. I don't think I showed it in the gameplay but, uh, or in the intro, but that's okay. I'm at like 11-something, and he was at like 10.30, so we'll try and beat that for the sake of getting this done quickly. But if not, oh well. 
the team building guide for Infinite Dragon Ball history is definitely a little bit more tricky because, like, you can sit here and make a team building guide, but it really does come down to what like, each player has. And so, I try and give the most basic recommendations, but the problem is, from what I've seen, looking at these two categories, is that it's kind of summon heavy. Like, I didn't see a lot of free to play units that just jumped out the page on me. Like, I can look again while we're here, but like, Free to play units. Uh, there's Prime Battle Goku, uh, B Pan, Thousand Day Goku, Prime Battle Krillin. But these guys aren't joined forces units. Like I'm not seeing anything that jumps off the page to me. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm I'm looking. I'm scrolling through wiki characters. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's just, it's a lot of summonable units here. Like, there's just not much free-to-play power. Uh, in Go or Namek, uh, Krillin, and Vegeta. The Super Saiyan God, like, Anger, Goku, whatever the hell that form was in uh, Battle of Gods, right? Yeah, I mean, this is not a free-to-play friendly team. There's uh, STR Krillin, he has his guards, but I mean, these aren't joint forces units, right? Like... The, the, my, the meta team build I'm trying to give you guys is like <laughs> run Goku and Goku as many good free to play Goku's as there are it's just he's he's the cash cow right he's the face of money making in this game so you're not going to find yourself often getting these free to play Goku's that can even hold a light like on a very bright candle to uh, some of these summonable Goku's so you know the beauty of it is though at least is that a lot of these LR Gokus you're summoning for anyway. Because, like, <laughs> I can see you right off the bat, right? LR UI Gokus, two of them. Uh, LR Super Saiyan Goku that just came out uh, for the $350 million dollar celebration. Like, these are units you're summoning for anyway. So, I mean, does it really matter? Ooh, I just made a mistake. Let me, uh, put that real quick. I, uh, somehow let it slip past me that we, uh, <laughs> What's the one I'm looking for? That we had um, put the, uh, in the tech unit <laughs> for all those hits. So that might mess up my little uh, speed run attempt. But that's okay. I'm not too worried about that. So let's uh, do this. Just make sure we get our boy, the Go Bros, out of harm's way. I don't see a world where GT Goku kills these guys, especially like one or two hits. They would both have to crit if we want that, but I don't think that's going to happen, so. I mean, that's a lot of damage. Say what you want. It's a really good seal. Okay, so. Yeah, this was a bit of a slower turn here, unfortunately. So now that I have uh, Gogeta and Vegito set up, I'm going to float uh, Goku off and try and get him on rotation with the physical one. If you want to slide in a hit or two on him, I'm fine with that. Again, we're getting lucky with this hit place. Okay. I can't imagine that we'll get out of this turn uh, with the... Uh, <laughs> with letting Goku get a raise, eh, maybe we will. If they only do one super, we will. So, I mean, there's a chance. Sorry. I have to do something about this pop filter. It's always close to my face when I talk to the mic. I always hate it. Yep, okay, perfect. So we're going to get another defensive raise because we are not willing to get another raise next turn, unfortunately. I don't want to float the GoBros. Not yet, at least. It's too early. So what I want to do here, so who's got the highest defense? Uh, the Gobros do by just a tad, but yeah, yeah, we'll probably just have to do this, huh? I don't want to, but I feel like it's the smartest play. Yeah, this would have stung for, uh... Yeah, that would definitely have stung for GT Goku, because, you know, he, he relies on those GT Hero allies, and he just does not have them on this team. He's just kind of a Rainbow Web Changer placeholder unit that just won't get us killed. 
You can also do a mean attack stat if you let him, so... <laughs> you know, can't really complain there. So what we'll do, ideally, is float that this Goku that we're using right now and put mine in the front for the uh, next turn that we see them. We'll have to see how the numbers look with attack and defense and all that fun stuff. Because I don't know what phase we're in at this point. I mean, I know what phase, like, what enemy we're facing, but I don't know. I forget. Well, so let's... I have... It. Um, we have... Oh yeah, we got a ways to go. Oh no, we've only got two more after this. That's not too bad. Yeah, so I'm making a decent pace here. Let's do this. That'll help, and this will help us heal up a little bit as well to get some of that kill time maker filled up. Yep. All right. So next phase is we want to say AGL. So the way we have it set up, we should be good. Oh no, they're 10. They switched it. Okay. So let's, uh. Not worried about that active skill. So the friend one is higher on defense, but honestly, I don't care. I just like using mine. <laughs> you know how it is. Uh oh. <laughs> I might have made a oopsie. I doubt it, though. Yeah. He'll raise that right back up. No worries, no worries, no worries. But what this does mean is there is a chance that we get out of here in one turn if we get lucky with the crits and whatnot. So, you know, ideally we do get that, and then we can just go to town on Goku and Vegeta. Even with an app reset. Woo! <laughs> My boy Triple Super, and I like it. Always good, always good. Just taking care of business. Look at that boy go. He's a force, I tell you. A force. Not to be reckoned with. Um, if we get two supers, we're definitely out of here on this turn. So, yes. Okay. We just gotta keep moving. We're making good pace. So you know what we're absolutely gonna do right here, right? <laughs> Get this guy out. I will 100% <laughs> take the type disadvantage super. We're going to let our boy Vegito go to work. And just because we're speed running, it's cool. we're going to uh, do two things right here, right? This is the strap, boys. I should have done this beforehand. But what we do is we go here, and then we go over here, and then we go to off. And then we do this. Oh, I thought I hit skip. Shit. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. <laughs> I should have hit on. <laughs> it's okay. It's not that hard. Um, shit. Now I really got to move. Come on, come on, come on. I'm running out of time, game. Let's try that again. On. Oh, we lost it because the health restriction. Shit. Okay, it's whatever. It's fine. <laughs> so let's go ahead and let our boy Vegito go to work, huh? Boom. Yeah, so if he's doing a health bar. Oh, yeah, we're definitely out of here in a minute. Okay. Yeah, if he's doing like damn near health bar per counter. <laughs> Yeah, give me these all day. Oof. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, this guy never he never ceases to amaze me. Boom. Oh, almost snuck in the extra one. Okay. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to beat the, uh, the time on the list, but we shall see. Yeah, I'll take that all day. Now our boy, Vegeta, is going to hit us with a 5 million super effective against all types. And hopefully this will lead to the GoBros getting it done as well. Okay, so if I just kind of spam the button. Oh, there's another phase, I forgot. Well... <laughs> I'm 
been sitting here talking for the past three minutes, going on and on and on about how. <laughs> Oh, now I just feel stupid. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. Good dodge. God damn it. I just feel like a jackass now. <laughs> I was trying strat, skipping the active skill, and doing all this bullshit. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. So, you see this one's not too bad. I mean, I'm getting through this no item run, no problem. And then next turn is just going to be more of the same here with these crits coming up for uh, Vegito. Should be seeing more of the same here. And that's assuming we even make it out of this turn at this turn. Oh yeah. Depends on what our boy Eli Doji wants to do. Okay. So let's let him uh, do that, and we'll let Gogeta uh, go do that, and we'll let Nana Goku do that, and that will round it out for this uh, particular mission. Um, a lot of fun. <laughs> Any excuse to use some of these Super Saiyan units, you know, I can run Nana Goku, UI Goku, Vegito, Gogeta on the same team. It's going to be a lot of fun to use overall, so. That was the uh, stage 16 for the Dragon Ball history. I hope global players can eventually come back around to this when it drops for them. Here's the uh, team I used. You guys saw it earlier. I can definitely do it faster than 11 minutes and 50 seconds, but uh, not a really big deal. It's just kind of for fun and gave us something to talk about, right? So uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I'm out.